Hey guys, welcome back to the B movie. We're doing some jobs right now. I'm gonna grab this. There's the honey you quick collected. Snack. Oh yeah, it's in the canister. From last time we grabbed some canisters. Okay. Apparently we're not getting that one. So we are gonna just take this person's car and buzz off. I mean, we are a taxi service. At one point, we're also a mechanic. We're Jack. We're a bee of all trades. That's true. I wonder what bad honey tastes like. I don't think honey ever tastes that much different. Does bad honey just taste like a dead bee? Well, if there's a dead bee in it, then yes. Woo. We gotta go to the arcade and buy an arcade game as well eventually. That's on a different floor. This place has got two tiers, which is ridiculous. Oh, this is the Plinko one. Yes, sir. A tremendous growth opportunity and excellent choice. All right. Let's see if the price is right today. Woo! Do we want these brown ones? Do you want to avoid the burnt ones? Are you sure? There's a separate thing for them. It said burnt honeycomb limit, though. Oh, okay. We should be able to get 15 with missing a couple. This thing's dropped super slow. Congratulations, you just won a brand new car. Woo! I wonder if a job includes a commentator for when these guys are working. That's one of the B jobs. Because you hear that guy every once in a while, he's like, Yahoo! Keep going. See, there he is again. Keep going! Oh no, I can't win now. Try catching a brown one, see if it counts. Nope. Aww. You're fired. Panel opens up underneath the control stand. Oh, they just bring a, another stack in. Well, oh. well, there we go. Great! Onyx is proud of you, son. Well, thank you, commentator guy. All right, let me look at the map really quick. I want to see the map of this area. Those are the only two things we can play in here, so we got to go up top. Back to the upper world. This place is cool looking. I will say that. They did a good job with designing the hive. It's interesting that there's honeycombs, but then it's a circle inside of each one. On the wall, you see that? Oh, yeah. Well, that's like the storage for the honey, right? Yeah. Am I going but the right way? The honey is stored in the big tanks here, too. I like this place. It's cool looking. Alright, we're going up. We're going to check out the arcade. Oh, her hat just disappeared. Yeah, it did that last time. She got a new hat. Oh no, that's just her hair. Nice hair hat, lady. Uh, they're called wigs? Whatever. We need four more jobs before we can do a main mission. What's the fork? I don't know, maybe it's just a fork in the road. Like an actual fork in the road. That'd be interesting. It's a mysterious object that has appeared one day. We'd never found out how to get rid of it. How do I get over there? I gotta go the outer rim. right, and then there's the arcade right next to it. Okay. Do you think bees have chefs, or do they just eat the honey? Yeah, that's a good question. If they make like different types of dishes in the real world, not the game. Like, do bees cook steak? Yeah, of course. Of course. Why wouldn't they? All right. Here's the fork. Delivery is a fast and furious business, and your new Hive customers are always hungry for more. You'll be the talk of the town as you blaze new trails on your two-wheeled speeder. Keep your balance and the food off the road, and you'll drink in the rewards. Bon appetit! You've still got some orders to fill, citizen. Well, here's your answer, Ethan. Small stack of meals, but it doesn't say what's in the meals. They're honeycomb shaped. True. Maybe we'll get to see here. It's a honey pizza. 
scooter, kid. It drives as easy as any other vehicle. I'll tell you where to go when an order comes up. You can keep track of where you should be heading with the mini-map. Most importantly, the meals must get there intact. When you see them going off balance, you counter the leading by pressing the left trigger or the right trigger, depending on where they're headed. Remember, time is also a factor here. To quote Marilyn Monroe, some like it hot. Thanks, commentator guy. Whoa, I lost a meal. We lost two. Yeah, how did that one fly off? Did it go right through the middle? Aw, oh, what the deuce. Back it up, Barry. Back it up, Barry. Laws of physics do not abide to bees, as they do not believe what humans think. So this wall that shouldn't be solid, Maybe it is. Maybe you need something a little slower, like wax delivery. Oh, the commentator is just laying into me. Remember, time is also a factor here. To quote Marilyn Monroe, some like it hot. It's weird that we got to balance, even though it has nothing to do with our driving. We just need to balance the stacks on the back. I mean, they are stacked pretty high, and they're not secured properly in any way. They should be clamped in. Yeah, they should be tied down with, like, bungee cord. They look like they kind of just fit together, though, like, oh no, like chairs do. You are moments away from the rest of your life. Hey, friend, just got a new opening. Take a look. Alright, let's check out the arcade. Ooh, new video game. Perfect time to check out the arcade. I wonder if we can buy this cruiser for later. It's pretty nice because we can weave in and out easily. Like I can go get this stuff. And smash through someone's launcher. Eh, yeah, won't be needing it. You think someone's just gonna come up and hijack your vehicle someday? Just like I do to them? Yeah. I hope so. I hope someone follows in my footsteps. This isn't the arcade, what the heck? I thought the arcade was right next to the other place. Should check the map for it. That man was just sliding across the ground. Yep. Okay, so I gotta do a 180. Go all the way back. I saw someone's car. He, yeah, he was definitely just sliding. Just sliding. What's up? It's a nice car. That was a nice bench, too. What a nice light pole. Oh, you're getting paid for crashing into these. Oh, really? Yeah. You get honey out of them. This is Grand Theft Auto over them. It's, um... It's the off-brand version. Steely Wheelie. Automobile. -y. Yeah. Alright, there's the race thing. So the arcade might just must just be at the end here. Alright, so let's check out a game... We should save some money so that we can buy one of the costumes. We should be saving up for the fly. Yeah, but that's a lot. You know. Wait, no. 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 Where do you think you're going, lady? Oh, gosh. Don't worry, there's a fresh car there. You don't have to carry on a passenger. No. Okay, keep your eyes peeled, because this comes up quicker than we think. Yeah, we're not even to it yet. Oh, okay, so it's after the race. I don't even know my own hive. Ah. <sighs> Being a bee is hard, guys. You have a very short memory. Where was I going again? Goldfish memory. Who? Why are we talking about memory? Who would win in a fight? A bee or a goldfish? But the fight is on the water. The goldfish? How does the goldfish win, though? It just sits Basically has zero attack. It just waits underwater, and the bee drowns eventually. I suppose. Okay, maybe we just gotta go here. Alright, we're buying Hive Attack. Yeah, I'm gonna buy this arcade. New job available. Hive Attack! High score is 4,000, you gotta beat that. Oh, it's Asteroid. Once again, this is the pinnacle of gaming on the internet. How is the high score 4,000 on this? You're only getting 10 points a kill. It probably goes for a long time. You want to try to beat the high score? Probably not. 
I don't have enough honey for that. Oh, you're getting more lives as you go, too. Oh, now they're worth more points. Now they're like 15, 20 apiece. What did it say the uh, objective was for me to get this job complete? Did it say? High score 4,000, I think. Okay. And they're worth more now? Yeah, it's another 15 apiece. I love how they're just like dripping boogers on me. What are they, wasps? I don't know. They're black and white. They're jail bees or something. Alien bees? It's called hive attack. I don't know. Whoa! Oh, maybe the further the waves get, the more they're worth. Well, that one exploded. No, yeah, because now they're worth 20 apiece. So they're going up by 5 point values each wave. The game within a game, guys. This is the pinnacle of gaming technology within the hive. Dude, I miss movie games. Now all we get is mobile games. With movie skins. Yep, pretty much. Talk about a yawn fest. A yawn. Borang. Borangatang. Borangatang. Halfway there. Yep. Just gonna destroy the rest of these booger slangers. Slanging them boogers. These things seem very odd. It almost looks like they're wearing like hats and they're people. It's like white coats on. Do you see that, or is it just me? That might be just you. That might be a you thing. Some kid's watching us right now, and is like, Wow, you're awesome at this game, man. You're obviously professional. You have a 100% shot hit rate. You haven't missed anything yet. Well, I mean, my accuracy is pretty solid. But yeah. not really, because I just shoot on rapid fire, I suppose. Oh, that's why they look like a person. The gun that they're holding looks like a person's arm. They're holding like a gun? Gun. Yeah. Don't you see that on one side their arm is like yellow? Oh, oh that's yeah. That's a gun. I thought it was like a person's arm like they're a half-mutated flyman. Oh, shoot. Ran to a booger. The boogs. The booger got me. Avoid the boogs. I wonder if they uh, got the idea from Booger Man, the game. Is that a game? Yeah. What's he, it about? A booger man. He throws boogers and he farts. It it's sounds like um, a high quality humor. It's a really floaty Sega game. Can you imagine like just sitting down with the board of directors and just being like, listen up, I got the best idea for a game right <laughs> yeah. now. It's a booger and it floats and it throws snot and farts. No, it's a booger man. He's like dressed in like a green costume. Okay, it's a person in a suit. And he just projectile sneezes on people and farts everywhere. And he, like, I think he hawks mucus as well. Brilliant idea, Johnson. You get promoted. It's actually considered one of the... I, I think it's considered one of the better games on Sega. It's too floaty for me. It's like one of those weird platform floaty ones, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, like, um... Like the Pink Panther one? Isn't that one really floaty? I don't remember that, but... Like, Roadrunner, if you ever played Roadrunner in Death Valley... You set like, a new high score? Kind of floaty. Oh yeah. Which is just just go on forever? I thought this was a job. It better be. It better be. If the high score keeps going up, it might just be an infinite game to see how high you can get the high score to go. It would appear that nothing new is gonna be coming either, it's just the same two enemies. Okay. I'll just kill myself now. Death by Booger! New record, baby! Oh. There's another arcade game in there we haven't bought, too. Because they did add a new one. Grandma's arcade machine. The freeway. Grandma, Grandma's staring at you. Right. We're not gonna... Oh, it's like Frogger. We're not going to be able to... Oh, the two people can play this one. This is in the high court. High score is only seven, but it only lasts two minutes. Ah! Okay. Why are the cars so fast? 
Yeah, weaving between them. Oh, nope, not there apparently. Eh. Go, 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 go! Yeah! Oh crap! It's the same thing on repeat. Go. Oh, all right, all right. You guys get the point of that one. Let's not waste our honey on arcade machines anymore. Apparently, playing games isn't a job, guys. But we got high scores. That should pay us. Oh, how many more jobs do we have to complete quick? I'm going to go to the mechanic one. That's super easy. You think they have, like, an MLB in the high, but it's Major League B-Ball? Maybe. What's B-Ball consist of? The bees playing baseball or basketball or the two combined. Then off we go into a bold new career adventure. Yep, bold new adventure. Oh, for a second I was going to say I, I don't remember to keep your lawyer suit on when you're a mechanic. But can you imagine that? Just going to the mechanic, someone shows up, they got a suit on. Yes, yes, I'll be your mechanic today in my wonderful business suit. I guess that's kind of normal though. Like the higher up mechanics dress a little bit nicer, I think. But do you wear a business suit while you're doing mechanic work? No, typically not. Doesn't make sense. I like how they're paying me to do that. I literally just moved a bunch of wires. And you squeezed a tube a bunch. <laughs> ah, this tube here. Yeah, squeeze it. Oh, Yep, your car's fixed, sir. Thank you're you. squeezing a bubble through the tube. We're just going to loosen those? Squeeze that tube. I like how we just loosen those screws and we're just going to leave them loose. That'll get them to come back later when their <laughs> brakes go out. Yeah, we noticed that your car's not running as well as it should be, so I'd recommend you put a mix of sawdust and sugar in your gas tank. Hey, Alright, we got the next one. Ooh, this one's medium. Oh, man. I don't know if you're going to be able to succeed. I'm shaking in my boots. Your bee's knees are shaking? Ooh, my bee's knees. I wonder where that phrase comes from, because bees don't really have knees. What do you mean? Bees have the greatest knees of all time. Knees are weird. Especially bee's knees. I like how you're just, like, not even you're just delicately picking up and just stabbing it. Yep. Oh, we gotta do two cars. Three cars. Oh, was it three? Let me loosen these screws again and never tighten them. This one's gonna be full fun to pull out. Yeah, super fun. I'm gonna have a crazy amount of fun pressing these two buttons. Oh, look at the fun I'm having over here, guys. Oh, so much fun. I like that. You don't tighten the screws when you put the new one back in. Yeah. So that's not secure. Nice and loose. It like shook when he drove off. Are you sure? Yeah, you're good. Go. There's a huge explosion behind us right now. Ooh, maybe new customers, or maybe they're dead. No, it's from the car that just left. Filling it up. Taking it away. Oh, you gotta get in between the black lines, I think. Oh. Well, thank God Ethan's here. Am I gonna run out of time? You might. Nope, that was the last fix. Yes, I was. Alright, we can do one more, and hopefully this will be enough for the story missions. We need two more. This is by far the easiest one we've found. Or the fastest. Yeah, there's four cars this time. The Plinko one's pretty fast, though, too. Yeah, but you have to wait. Are there two oil tanks in this car? I have no idea. I don't think it's oil, it's just honey. Honey tanks. Do they not have a gas tank? Because I haven't seen any gas caps on them anywhere. Probably not. I don't think it runs on oil and gas. It's gotta be... Everything runs on honey in the hive. Honey and wax. This is 
some exhilarating gameplay for you guys. You're welcome. You're not worried about the thing pumping out honey bubbles, but you're fine with the, the loosening screws? Okay. See you later. In all honesty, for all the jobs they showed in the movie, this would probably be the best job. I mean, if you had to do this 24 hours a day for the entire life, then it might not be the best. Well, everything would suck at that point. Yep. But I mean, it'd be better than being flung around with that giant glove on your head getting the drips. What do you mean? That looks like fun. <laughs> you'd be so sick every day. Like, you could be, oh. a, you'd be a stirrer. Yeah, you just get into a rhythm and just stir. This one at least would require a little bit of thought, which is kind of nice. Wow, then I would hate it. You have to think. <laughs> you have to think like, I have to plug this wire back in. Oh, I have to I have screw to this screw. Huh, this wire that's unplugged, should I plug it back in? No, 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 you're good to go. Bye-bye. Go on. And you get to squeeze the tube? I mean, that just seems very relaxing. It's like a stress ball. Yeah. Looks like you get to squeeze all three tubes, actually. Squeeze them too, baby. Ready to squeeze another one? Yep. After this squeezing, he walks away with just the biggest erect stinger ever. He's like, yep, ah, that was a great squeeze. Excellent. Wonderful. <laughs> Ready to do more mechanic work? B plus humor over here, guys. <laughs> B plus. See, yeah! We... Alright, next time we can do more of the main story. We'll see you guys all then. Okay, some of us have things to do. Let's go.